Hi, I'm Emily from Fresh Paper Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to take your drawings and turn them into vector images in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. You know, I think a lot of people are intimidated about the idea of digitizing their own drawings because they think it takes some sort of fancy equipment, a really high-end scanner or amazingly white paper, I don't know. But all I'm using is a $5 sketchbook, a marker, and my iPhone. It really doesn't take anything else besides that and a computer. So, since I don't have a scanner, I know, that's crazy, I'm going to use my phone to take a picture of this little ring I drew that I want to turn into a vector. I'm going to line it up, I'm going to make sure the whole thing's in the frame, and I'm just taking a picture. So now that I've taken my photo, I do want to clean it up a little bit before I bring it into Illustrator. And you can do that in Photoshop if you have it. Um, I want to show you how I do it on my phone. This just is so quick and so easy. I'm going to use Afterlight, which costs a dollar, I think, in the App Store. I don't pay more than a dollar for apps. I mostly use free apps. Um, but this one I really like. It's like Photoshop, but it's a dollar. I'm going to find my photo. And this is what I want, and I'm going to use it. And then down here are all of the little options we have. Whoa. Can you see this? There we go. So I want this one that's like little slidey bars. And first I'm going to brighten it up a little bit. So this plus minus guy you see right there is exposure. And I'm just going to increase that a little so you can see it got a little brighter. And then that little half circle, black white circle, is the contrast. And I'm going to bring that all the way up. And you can do that as many times as you need to to get this looking the way you want. If I had a ton of extra space, I could crop. You know, I am going to crop actually. So that's this button. And here's the crop. Because I don't need any of that garbage up here and I don't need any of this white space down here and I do have a little bit extra of this other ring I drew um, I'm gonna get rid of that in Illustrator so this is cropped press the check mark and we're good I'm done and I want to save this to the max resolution whatever the highest resolution you can do do that and I'm gonna see if I can save right to Dropbox here other apps save to Dropbox so you use whatever you want to use to get a photo from your camera I mean from your phone to your computer I like Dropbox you can email it to yourself if that's better um, I'm gonna call this ring and not afterlight and then I'm gonna hit save And it's uploading. You don't need to watch it upload. I'll see you on the computer. Okay, here I am in Adobe Illustrator and I have a new document open. I made mine 10 inches by 10 inches just because I like to do that. It really doesn't matter what size you make your document because um, that's the beauty of vectors is that you are going to be able to scale your image to be any size that you want. So the important thing is getting that drawing in here. So remember I saved it in Dropbox on my phone. So now I can go on my computer. I can see here's the ring file. I need to get it out of the folder. Saved it in tutorials. And I'm just gonna drag this into my document. And it is enormous. I am not going to shrink it right now. I'm just gonna keep it exactly as it is. So I'm zooming out. And then we are going to use the live trace, uh, image trace. If you're using Adobe Creative Cloud, it's called image trace. I think in CS6 it might be image trace also. If you have CS5 or older, it's called live trace. They're very similar. 
you can use either one to do this. So I'm just going to click image trace. My, my sketch is still selected from dragging it over and I'm, I can tell because it's got the blue around it. So I'm going to hit image trace and it's going to tell me that it's going to go slowly. It says that all the time. I should say don't show again, but I never do. I like the warning. I don't know. There we go. So that does some kind of default. <laughs> yeah, preset default. But no one ever likes the default. So I want to look at the actual image trace panel, which is right up here. That's going to pop up for you on the top. And it opens this panel over here. I do want to keep this in black and white. We can do a color one in another tutorial, but for now I want it to be black and white. The first thing that I'm going to do is go down here to options, pause. If this stuff isn't showing, it's hidden here under this advanced arrow. So click that and you'll get all the options. You are advanced, so you get to click that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go down here to where it says ignore white. And what that's going to do, you'll see, is it turned that white background clear, transparent. Um, it, it got rid of it. I don't want to deal with the white background. I want it to be completely transparent. Um, so the other settings, you know, honestly, I just play around with them <laughs> until I get what I like. I don't have a formula. It is so different for every sketch um, that you really just kind of have to mess with it. Threshold, this is going to say how much black is it going to notice? What is its, how much black can it tolerate? So if you move this up, I'm going to move it way up to show you. It beefs it up a little bit. Like if I moved it all the way up, I'd start to get this noise kind of. It's picking up grains of the paper. And if I moved it all the way down, it's not picking up everything I want it to. So, you know, move it to a place where it looks good. That looks fine to me. Um, you can have it show more or less noise. Moving these things may not do anything for you, or it may do lots for you, depending on um, the original drawing. Yeah, see, that's not doing much. So this looks fine. For what I'm doing, this looks good. I'm going to ignore white hand, and I'm done with that. So here is, this is now a vector. The second I hit Live Trace, it was a vector. If I wanted to go back to the original, I could go Source Image. And, oop, that's what I had. That's my drawing. I can go back to Tracing Result, and there's my vector. So this looks good. I'm happy with this to start with. So the next thing I'm going to do is hit expand. And what that does is it drops all these anchor points onto my drawing. Um, it takes it from being one thing that's all connected and makes all the little lines and paths their own thing. Thing. So now that it's expanded, they're still all grouped together. But this is, if you are used to working with vectors at all, you're more used to seeing something like this. Now, I still have this, <laughs> this piece of ring um, that was in my drawing. And I can also see I've got these kind of crazy little points, a couple of them. So the next thing I need to do is edit these. And the first thing to be able to do that is to ungroup them. They're all stuck together. So we're going to go over here to object and down to ungroup. And the shortcut for that is shift command G. So now each bit is its own object and I can move them around independently. So see, I can just move that guy wherever. And I'm gonna delete them, I'm just clicking delete. 
I also saw there were those little anchor, these little guys. I don't know what those are, but I'm going to delete them. Zooming in. Is that one? Oh, delete. And where did that other guy go? Delete. So everything I have on here is something I want on here. And remember how I told you, it doesn't matter what size your artboard is, it doesn't, but I would like to put this on the artboard. And since it's now a vector, I know I can shrink it or grow it um, without changing anything. So I'm using the transform panel just to make it 10 inches wide. It's gonna stick off a little bit, I don't care. And then I'm pressing Command O to zoom way into the artboard. So this looks pretty decent. This looks how I drew it. However, um, notice I was not super careful right here. And I also have some extra marks down there that I don't like. Let's take care of those first. I'm going to zoom way in. I'm pressing Command Plus to zoom in. That's my favorite. And I'm going to work on this guy right here. So we've got all these little blue points on here are called anchor points. And that is what everything is made of in Illustrator. Uh, it's made up of all these anchor points and the paths that connect them. So I'm going to work with these anchor points with the pen tool, which is over here in my toolbar. And I'm going to start by deleting the ones that I don't like. So I'm going to click the delete anchor point tool and I'm zooming way in. See this little blobby business here? I don't like it. So I'm going to delete this anchor point and you can see it changed what that looked like. And I'm going to delete that anchor point. And now things look a lot more like I want them to. I don't really like the way that's going, so I'm going to delete that. And actually, I'm going to delete that guy too. So now this looks really straight. I don't want to mess with it much more. I still want it to look hand-drawn. But I'm going to go around and just look for anything that is super weird. Like, this looks a little funny to me. So maybe I'll get rid of that. And I think what I want to do here is I'm going to use the direct selection tool to grab one of these anchor points and pull it out a little bit. That looks more like how I want it to. So you can go around and do that on your whole drawing. Just delete anchor points. See, I have a little, you can see if I zoom way, way in, there's that weird little notchy guy. Don't like it. So I'm gonna delete that anchor point, and I'm gonna delete that anchor point, and all of a sudden it looks nice and round like I want it to. But we still have this garbage to deal with. But I want it to look hand drawn, but I also want it to look professional. So on this one, um, I'm going to use the delete anchor point tool again because those are actually connected and oopsie, I'll have to zoom in because I can't tell what I'm grabbing here. Notice if you go way in and you hover over there, it's going to tell you what a, what's a path, what's an anchor, and what's a handle. You can only delete the anchors. Where's my anchors at? There we go. Anchor, anchor, anchor. I'm getting, things are getting weird here. There we go. And much better. 
these guys, problem is they're not connected. So we're gonna have to connect them. There's a couple ways you could do this. Um, you could use the direct selection tool like I did before. Um, I think it's easier to use the blob brush. So the first, I'm gonna go in and start to delete ones I know I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna get this a little closer to each other. Didn't wanna do that. That's pretty close. Delete that guy. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty close. So to make sure that this is selected, you can see all these little blue anchor points, this box you guy, you know you're selected. And I'm gonna go over here to the blob brush tool. I can't tell you how many times this saved my life. So this is actually a really good width right now. I must have been doing this earlier too. Um, but if it were bigger, I would go, oh, well, that's too big. And just press the left bracket on the keyboard. That's the shortcut to change the size. So I want to be about the width of what my marker was. And I, with this selected and with the color black, I'm just going to pretend this is an extension of my marker and I'm redrawing it. So now it's all connected and that looks, uh, uh, you know, pretty good, a little weird, but pretty good. So if I want to clean it up a little, I can just go back in with my little, nope, don't like that, with my anchor points, anchor point I can delete, but I'm going to call that good. And so there you go. I mean, this is that, that's really it. I just turned my sketch that I made in a sketchbook, used my iPhone to take a picture of it, made a few quick changes in Afterlight, an app that cost $1, and brought it into Illustrator, used the image trace, and cleaned up a few anchor points. If you are doing this for something um, really, that needed to be really precise, you could go in and spend a long time cleaning up anchor points. Totally. Um, sometimes that's gonna really be worth it. If you're doing a really fine hand lettered piece, awesome, go to town on anchor points. But for what I'm doing, what I'm using this for, I want it to keep looking hand drawn, so I'm gonna leave it just like this. And that's it! It really is that easy to turn your sketches into vectors in Illustrator. Stick around because next week I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of color to these bad boys. See you next time!